Hi, welcome to DBS Math. I'm Deepa Prasad. Continuing with surface area and volume, quest exercise 15.2, question number five. Question number five. So now question is like this: A vessel is in the form of an inverted cone. Its height is eight centimeter and radius of its top, which is open, is five centimeter. It is filled with water to the brim, top up, water up to the brim. When let shot, each of which is a sphere of radius 0.5 centimeter, or dropped into the vessel, one fourth of water flows out. Find the number of let shots dropped in the vessel. A vessel is in the shape of cone. It is filled with water, and now. Let shots, which is in the shape of sphere, we are dropping into the cone. Now, if it of some let shots are dropped into the cone, one fourth of water flows out from that vessel. So now we have to find how many let shots are dropped into that vessel. Solution. So now let us write the figure: A inverted cone. inverted cone here radius of this is r is equal to radius is 5 cm height this is 5 cm and it is filled with water In, inverted cone is filled with water so height h height is h is equal to 8 cm so this is our radius of Cone is five centimeter. Height of cone is eight centimeter. Now here we are dropping some lead shots into that vessel. So lead shots it will be in the shape of a sphere. So sphere. What is the radius of this sphere? R is equal to zero point five centimeter. So these are the given for sphere and the inverted cone. So now let us write the formula. Here what we have to find the number of lead shots dropped into the vessel. Number of number of let shots let shots dropped dropped into the vessel dropped into the vessel number of let shots dropped into the vessel will be one fourth of volume of vessel one fourth of volume of vessel. Divided by volume of let shots, volume of let shots, volume of let shots. Now let us write the formula. So one fourth of because they said that if we drop the let shots into the vessel, one fourth of water will flow off. That means volume of vessel here. The if we consider volume of it will be volume of water. So in that, if you drop this vessel, it one fourth of water will flow off. So we are considering one fourth of volume of vessel. So let us write the formula one by four. What is the formula for volume of vessel? Is nothing but volume of a cone here. Volume of, or you can consider it as a cone. Vessel is nothing but a cone. What is the vo volume of cone formula? One by three pi r square h. One by three. Pi r square h. So volume of lead shots. That means here lead shots is nothing but a a sphere. Volume of a sphere. So volume of sphere is four by three pi r cube. Four by three pi r cube. So now here it is divided. So if we consider to the numerator. So what it happens? Or you can directly you can cancel pi pi cancel three three cancel. So remaining will be if we multiply this to the denominator. So if we consider r square h, so remainder will be r square h. So four is remained in the denominator. If you multiply here, four four is a sixteen r cube is left out. So now if we substitute, if we substitute, so r square is nothing but a five square five square into h is eight. So divided by sixteen into what it is zero point five cube zero point five cube. So if we 
divide it. So here what? Here eight ones are eight twos are. So what will be the remainder here? Five fives are twenty five. Five fives are twenty five. Here remainder will be two into five. You can return as zero point five, zero point five, zero point five. So now the final answer twenty five. Here we can consider zero point five into zero point five, zero point two five. So five five is a twenty. So zero point two five, zero point two five into zero point five. It is zero point one two five, zero point one two five. So zero point one two five into two, zero point one two five into two, you will get zero point two five, zero point two five. Now, as you all know, if we shift the decimal point to your right hand side, we can add zeros to the numerator. So now, what happens here? So twenty five. So here. If I one two, so if I write twenty five here, one two decimal places, so I can add two zeros, or you can divide directly. So remaining here, twenty five ones are so here twenty five. So remain here, number of lead shots are hundred. So number of lead shots, so number of lead shots, so lead shots. Z equal to hundred lead shots. We are dropping into that vessel. So observe carefully. So first we are considering the vessel in the form of cone. So in this it is water is filled in this cone. For that we are dropping spherical lead shots. Spherical lead shots. So here the radius of cone is five. Height of cone is eight centimeter. Radius of sphere is zero point five centimeter. What is the formula? Number of lead shots dropped into the vessel is one fourth of volume of vessel. As they told, the number of lead shots which are dropped into the vessel. If you drop one fourth of water is flows out, flow out. So that means one fourth of its volume. So one fourth of volume of vessel, or you can take it as volume of cone. So divided by volume of lead shots, it is in the sphere. So now, if we write the formula, one by four volume of vessel is one by three pi r square h. Volume of lead shots four by three pi r cube. So here pi pi cancel, denominator three three cancel. So remainder r square h. So here if we multiply denominator, so sixteen r cube. So r square is five square into Eight it is. So here four four is a sixteen. Here r cube is zero point five cube. So if we split five square is twenty five. So here eight ones are eight twos are two into zero point five into zero point five into zero point five. It is if you multiply all these you will get zero point one two five. So here into two it is zero point two five. So if we divide these to twenty five by zero point two five you will get hundred. So how many lead shots we are dropping into that vessel? 100 lead shots thank you